Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of the Minecraft Survival here on my PC. Now, if you don't remember what happened in the last episode, we discovered this beautiful world right here upon us. We got a village. We have an enchantment table already. It's kind of crazy around here. But um, real quick, before we start today's video, I just want to say I, we can finally stop saying we are on the road to 100 subscribers because we hit 100 subscribers. I know it's absolutely crazy here. It's it's way all right. Now the thing is, I am going to be posting a video in a couple of days on how I actually make these videos, how all these go down, and what you need to do to get your first 100 subscribers. I'll be posting that in a couple of days, but um, you know, the video is still in the works as of now, so it's gonna take a minute, but. You know it's gonna it's gonna be awesome once it drops so stay tuned for that but um anyways let's go ahead and hop into today's video now i had a comment on my last video a couple days ago from my good friend mr seth ahern and he said that we should take all this land right here and build a giant castle from it and i think that's a great idea because look this is I don't think I've ever had this much flat land around in like a minute, so I think that would be a great idea to draw, not draw, build like a castle here. Um, I like the idea, so what we're going to be doing is just getting a ton of supplies for that in today's episode. Get some wood, get a lot of cobblestone, because right now we're kind of lacking on the supplies. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do that today. Hopefully start a little bit on the house. Obviously we're not going to finish it, it's probably going to be a pretty big house, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that I want to do is get a lot of spruce wood because I feel like the spruce, it's like it's the wood that most closely resembles like um, what do you what do you call it? like a type of like castle type of wood? You know, I feel like it would be very nice to use spruce. So that's what I'm doing. Plus it's right next to it, so it's pretty convenient. Uh, I was probably gonna try to find some dark oak, but by the looks of it, it looks like we are nowhere near a dark oak forest. So I'm just kind of chilling for now. But spruce is really like almost the exact same thing as dark oak, not that different. So, you know, I'll just use that for now. Shouldn't be a big of uh, too big of a deal, you know. So just get some of this, and then once we get a good bit of spruce wood, I'm gonna probably go into the caves, get some iron, cobblestone, stuff like that to make it into stone bricks. It's gonna be a really nice house design. Oh, also I forgot to mention, if you guys have any other ideas that y'all want to see on this series, yo, leave it in a comment below, cause. I mean, like Seth did, you could be featured on the video, you know, have your comment up here. I mean, plus, it's ideas for me. I mean, why not share them, you know? If you think I could do it, hey, I'll try to make it happen, you know? Alright, guys, so going back, I have about two stacks of logs. I think that should be a pretty solid number for now. I don't think it's going to be enough to completely do the castle, but, you know, it should be pretty good. So, I'm going to just stick with that for now. Let me go ahead and make a chest for all this stuff. And then what we can do is we can go ahead, hop into the mines and, um, you know, get some, you know, cobblestone and iron, stuff like that, just the basic materials. Oh, re really quick, while I'm gone, let me go ahead and set up, like, a basic farm for these potatoes, because, um, I want these to grow while I'm gone. Hopefully, they'll be pretty much ready by the time I'm back. Uh, where, there we go. It's just some um, basic water right outside the house. So, let's go ahead and just do this. You already know, just the basics. So boom, just like that, plant these 10 potatoes down, and um, after we come back, hopefully we get some nice tater tots, you know? Alright, so by the looks of it, there is a lot of mobs in this cave. I see a zombie skeleton, I think there's another skeleton over there. Oh, another zombie right there, how is he burning, but you're not? I am confused, let me bring this block right here. Maybe it'll start burning then? Okay, there we go. Now they're starting to burn, um, no, I'm gonna just drop down, screw it. Let's see what's up here. There we go, boom, just like that. Got a skeleton shooting at me. Shoot the zombie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, the zombie's going for that skeleton. There we go. Fight each other. All right. So there we go. Yeah, just like that. Boom, I'll get the skeleton for you. Then you. All right, pretty easy. Oh, my God, there's more mobs. I think the first thing I'm going to do once I get a nice supply of iron is I'm going to craft myself a shield because those skeletons are going to be very annoying. Uh, let's see here. I saw some iron back here, some coal as well. Uh, I actually am coming here for cobblestone though, because like I said, we're going to need that to make some stone brick. I definitely got to sleep. There's so many mobs out here. Let me go ahead and sleep for the night. Uh, wake up, hopefully. There we go. Most of these mobs are going to be burning, except for the creepers, yo. I'm just scared of the creepers. You know, I don't want them blowing up any of my issues, especially like 
my chest or my enchantment table, stuff like that, you know. Alright, we got everything smelting up over there. While all that's cooking, let me go ahead and think of a base design. I kind of want to do like four corners and they kind of be like, they're kind of like circular, you know, and they have like a wall going around and they have like an actual house inside. Uh, I don't know if y'all can picture that. I probably can't, but um, you know, I got my design. I'll just show y'all. I'm gonna get some basics going. I'll see how it works out. Yo, I'm almost certain there's a zombie spawner here. Look how, like, five zombies just came after me. I already killed one or two of them, but god dang, there's so many zombies. Oh my, how am I supposed to kill off all these? There we go. Alright, that should be fine. Alright, so now you guys can kind of see, like, a base design. Like, I'm gonna have four pillars going around like this. Then I'm gonna have, like, a stone brick wall in between. This is gonna be an entrance right here. Probably gonna have, like, some fences on top of this right here come inside then they're gonna have probably a nice actual house right here in the middle of it with this nice castle wall around it i think it's gonna be a sick idea uh i'm definitely gonna need to get some more stone brick and wood i'm yeah pretty much already out of wood so gotta go get some more of that stuff but we gotta sleep first and then we gotta do some more grinding also made like um a little seed farm because you know uh i got like while i was uh, mining up the grass. I got like half a stack of seeds, so went ahead and did that real quick. So now we gotta get to actual grinding. I'm in the caves. Da, 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 da. Whoop, I come back up to three zombies infiltrating my base, I guess. That's nice. And then again, this place isn't really torched up that well, so let me just go ahead and- Oh my god, it's freaking a ton! What the heck? This is a whole zombie apocalypse out here. I don't even- Yo, this is insane. Okay, let me just let me just get my axe on these dudes. Yeah, I'm about to say this will kill them pretty easily. There we go. Not that big of a deal. And they just keep coming. Oh my god. Yo! How is this happening? Oh I'm only on normal. What the heck? How is this happening? I have gifted myself protection. I am now becoming God slowly but surely. Well he might have to do like some level one chance on some of that stuff just for the extra protection, you know, it's if I get proud one on all my armor, it's pretty much diamond armor because, like, it's an extra protection boost. So I might have to do that. But, uh, I'm just waiting for everything else to cook. Hopefully, get this, um, this little base design done soon. Alright, so basically, what I'm going to show you before I end off today's episode is basically the base design that I'm going with. So, as you can see, it's going to be like a wooden base structure right here. Then it's going to be followed up by some stone brick and probably some more spruce wood patterns and then it's gonna be a nice wall it's probably gonna be a nice big open gate right here and then I'm, like i said with the um, the bases i'm just gonna do this around all four pillars have the wall there it's gonna be super nice uh i'll probably do some off camera work and um what is it probably finish off at least some of the base design before i start next episode but yeah with that i mean i feel like the base is gonna be kind of nice i feel like it's gonna be saucy i already know what to do um, but, oh, I also forgot to say, you can also enter in these, um, pillars through, um, the inside of the house right here, this little corner right here, I'm probably just gonna make this a nice open, um, doorway right there, a walkway, so, that's gonna be super nice, but, I think right here is where I'm gonna call it quits, I'm gonna do some off-camera work and get the most of the, um, base design done before I start building up, but, um, uh, I'll do the rest of that stuff on camera once we get the full design ready to go. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Like I said, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. But um, what I do thank you for as well is watching this video. And you can also say your thanks by dropping a like on this video. So without further ado, my name is Patil Productions. And I am signing out. Peace. <laughs>